Hi everyone, I'm Sudeshna from The Abundant Psyche. If you are new here, my website is theabundantpsyche.com and I help people find their dream careers and present their best selves to the world. I'm also an ex-strategy consultant, ex-management consultant. I work full-time as a corporate employee as well. Today, however, I'm with my good friend, the very inspirational Sharik Javed. He's a software engineer, a motivational speaker, an avid traveler, a husband, a father. He's on the board of directors for four nonprofit sports and cultural media associations in Germany. And most, like most of us, Sharik wears multiple hats and somehow does justice to them all. He finds satisfaction and inner peace in helping people and enabling them to succeed and move forward in life. I'm so glad to have you on the show, Sharik. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much for a very warm welcome and a very good introduction. I'm absolutely fine and even happier to see you smiling and in a lot of energy. Yes. So t tell us a bit more about yourself, Sharik. Like you do so many things and rarely people i speak to find even time to just do one thing well how how do you find the energy and motivation to do all of this yes yeah, so it was never planned actually as you said uh, as a normal I, I grew up in pakistan i did electrical engineering and i ended up in germany and i'm working here as since eight years as a software engineer but what, what i always wanted to do was a little bit of um, volunteering so i started uh, in student organizations helping other students and some little bit you know most Pakistani Indian people they love sports love cricket actually and then I was involved in a cricket club and automatically nobody was helping in management and I was involved things start slowly but uh, started growing but now because I'm here in Munich since last eight years uh, eventually things came to me and uh, now at the moment I'm leading four non-profit organizations and one of them maybe at least for your Indian or Pakistani or English viewers uh, who love cricket. Uh, I'm president of Bavarian Cricket Board. It's a state, one of the biggest states, really the biggest state in Germany. And also I'm president of Cricket Club and we have a cultural organization and we also have a Urdu Radio Deutschland. It's like a web radio and TV channel uh, for connecting people through Urdu. They are giving information about German, Germany, German culture over here. Uh, so these kind of things are ongoing and several Facebook groups also. Right. Okay. So tell me, how did you start? Yeah, as I told. So with these volunteer activities, it I started slowly and then people realized also he's doing selflessly and they started helping him, you know. Uh, many people are afraid to take the first step. Uh, they are too much busy with the normal work and daily routine, uh, doing anything other than getting money, you know, paid for, uh, many people are afraid to do that. You know? uh, but when I started different projects, people started joining me and now they trust me. So trust level is very important, uh, having people to trust you, but it takes time. So I think, so as I said, in Munich also, in Germany, uh, I'm in eight years working non in non-profit causes, but last two, three years, people saw the persistence and they re really started joining, uh, help me, you know. And they all help me and my wife really supports me because I have a kid also, you know, mm -hmm. it is not possible with the support of, without the support of the family because it takes yeah. a lot of time. And of course, you're not earning for, for, for from these. Yeah, yeah. And we were just uh, chatting about how Sharik's son has made a gallery out of the wall behind him. <laughs> all, actually, this is the cleanest place I found in the in the in my whole apartment actually so I'm, I'm i hope it's not very bad but you know he likes trying you know but he has a lot of that's real life right that's real life and uh, yeah. none of our lives are perfect and that's the beauty of it all so sharik yes. you mentioned about starting with the volunteering and that is what so many people miss that aren't, like you you said it so rightly that um, people think only about money and nothing that generates money is important. But actually, when you start with the aspect of let's help people, money ultimately comes and flows. So, so uh, tell us about your journey from the volunteering and to, we were recently speaking about your career change as well, very yes, recently. Yes. The first uh, part about volunteering and uh, second, post-COVID situation in my life and 
uh, beautiful changes actually. So it has, it has been a tough time, but for me, beautiful changes also came. First about the volunteering part. Yeah, of course, money is very important. If people don't have money, they cannot survive. But for me, I, I can say I was lucky, okay. Uh, I was not in a poor family. I was born in a, in a moderate family. I got the chance to get education, higher education. Then I came to Sweden and then to Germany to complete my master's degrees. And then I, I, got, I got a job. A decent job and I had you know a car and a house everything you know so so then I thought okay the, the life normal goals I have uh, I have everything but the peace is to help people because when you see around not everybody has every, everything you know actually to be honest money has also has no, no full stop people will try to rebuild castles but it will not give them peace yeah. and you can help a little bit to anyone and you feel the, the, that you are a little bit of help has relieved the problem, um, has, have, has released him a lot of stress. You know? mm -hmm. So you feel happy. And it, this happiness, you cannot explain in words, it's better than everything else. And now I'm addicted to it. You know, actually, sometimes I sleep four hours, five hours, people call me in the night, some problem, I, I just go out and help. So it, it's a wonderful feeling and uh, I cannot explain in words. Other thing you talked about, what happened recently, Yes, so recently, like many other people, so I, I had a good job as a consultant in Siemens in Germany, uh, but all of a sudden, um, because of the COVID, many industries stopped working. So also our projects were was with Mercedes and they stopped working. So the I was a consultant, I was not direct employee there. So the consultants were sent home. Uh, so I was at home and then I was talking to some friends, many other consultants, regardless of nationalities, they were sent home and, and US was even bad. In Germany, still, because it's a welfare state, to pay a lot of taxes, so the government was supporting a bit. But in US, other countries, India, Pakistan, England, everywhere I was hearing people are losing their jobs. It was a tough time. I thought, okay, I cannot do anything uh, uh, like this. But, you know, I had a lot of connections. So people started to call me from some media channels, okay, we can report about COVID situation because there are a lot of cases in Germany you can report and it will be good for our channel. And I did a show. Uh, I recorded a video and sent to them and I, within a day or it has several thousand views, you know, and I said, okay, I can do that, but it is just spreading negativity on me. Then one night I was just sitting. I thought uh, maybe it's a time and opportunity where at home, we cannot change it, but what we can do, use it in a positive way. We can see that what we planned in life, but we got stuck in something else. Uh, maybe we can learn some new skill get ready for the job market or even we can spend some good time with our family members or call some relatives we have forgotten since long time and then this idea came that okay i will um, try to have guests with me and do live shows before that i was never live so this was interesting so i was at home from first of april this idea came to my mind only on third of april and then I said, okay, I will go live, but where do I find the guest? Then I randomly came across a very nice Facebook group. And there I said, okay, I want to go live. I need some motivational speakers. And my first speaker was Sudeshna. So this is also very interesting. Um, and since that time, this show was within a day. It has several thousand views. And, uh, and then I did a daily show. And till now, only till April, Sorry, since third of uh, fourth of April, our first show, I did around twenty odd uh, live shows in English, around thirty five shows in Urdu, and yesterday I did a first show in a with a German politician in German language. So it has been going really well, and people were motivated. Our topics were more mainly entrepreneurships, online learning skills, getting ready for the change. So it's all 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 motivational job topics. So all motivational topics and what happened in my life also i got a wonderful job uh career shift i got a management job and i'm really happy at the moment wow okay <laughs> so so basically your message from that is you hadn't done any of the live shows before but when you kind of Never. took the leap of faith look what happened in just two months not only did you um get so many speakers you influenced so many people across the world you made a move in your career you have been talking to parliamentarians now like that's yeah. amazing so uh, okay i want to talk about all of those little things bit by bit so 
tell us a bit more about all of these uh, live shows that you did uh, with 20, 20 people in English, 30, 35 in um, Urdu, you said Hindi. Urdu, Urdu, Hindi. So, you know, there are many viewers, you know, Urdu yeah. is included in England, sorry, in India and Pakistan. Yeah. So, let me tell you one thing. Uh, one important thing I learned was that because uh, we have to fight with our fears. Uh, I give you an example. Uh, let's suppose I am starting, I'm again on 3rd of April when this idea came to me. You know, uh, I have, I lost the job. Still, no, fr I, my friends can show courtesy, but nobody will be paying my rent. Nobody will paying anything, you know. Uh, I have to change uh, or bring a change myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it could have been that I go live first time and I never went live. You came to my show and uh, you are my guest. And I, all of a sudden, I, the software will not work or um, all of a sudden, the, I cannot speak in front of the camera. It could have happened also, right? Yeah. And these things do happen. Maybe you are, I tell everyone I'll be doing a live show so Deshna did not appear or you came but I could not talk, you know, and I fumble because it was a live show. Yeah. So what will happen? So what worse can happen? So we have to think, yeah. Uh, actually, one of the main problems, especially from people from our background, India, Pakistan, they, they always think about what people will say about us. What yeah. will people think? And this is the biggest full stop and uh, to innovation and creativity. Mm. We are so much afraid. And I said, okay, let's see what will happen. And then I went and actually uh, people really appreciated it. Uh, and also, actually, you really motivated me, to be honest. You are also doing it. Maybe you can also tell how did you start, actually. Uh, well, for me, uh, I have been interested in the space for a while, but that's for another time. Let's <laughs> let's not go into my story. Let's, let's talk about you today. Yes. So then um, uh, what I learned, actually, so I will not say that I'm, um, I am an expert, but I tried to bring the success stories to people. So, because uh, I'm not at that level that I can say that I'm an expert or really an influencer, but through my shows, through my guests, I try to influence people. I do a lot. I did a lot of research. You mean a daily show means that a person will be coming live. I have to talk to that person, arrange an appointment, study about his background mm -hmm. and see if it matches our audience and uh, market it properly so that people will be seeing it. it was a lot of work. Uh, then I found people who had a lot of people who had career changes in their lives. Mm. They study something else today and they were very successful and our audience really liked it and there were a lot of entrepreneurs there were a lot of people who were doing really good corporate jobs with hundreds of people, hundreds of people below them and then it said okay no we want to change mm. and they started their own business and it, it they tell that how much peace it brings own business because you decide what you want to do how much you want to do which you, you get independence the independence of time independence of also about how much you earn yeah because in a corporate sector even if you are an expert or you are a middle uh, below average you know you are getting about same salary promotion at the end of the day you year you want to talk to promotions if the company is not doing good or a company is doing really good there will be slight change in, in what you can do mm. uh, also if especially for women who have who have children you know so when you have your own business you can even work at night and the kids have are asleep or or we can on the day you can rest or give time to your family uh, resting mm. is <laughs> difficult mm. but but a lot of things i learned and my audience learned from these shows mm. amazing so uh, and what did you i suppose do about those learnings as you were learning them i'm sure you put a lot into action because i saw from when we met to where your website is now, how you present yourself, there's, there's a massive shift. So tell us about your personal yes. journey as so well. So one of the things I did was that I get, got a lot of ideas and normally these people are also life coaches or entrepreneurs or managers. So one thing I did that I did not limit it to myself or did not make quickly a business plan out of it. Many people were contacting me because they lost their jobs or something happened bad in their life and they were frustrated. I use all of these knowledge Summarize it in a, in a good consultation free of course to my friends. Mm -hmm. Somebody is asking me a question because I learned a lot. For example, um, one thing we all need to understand, especially in COVID situation, post-COVID situation, uh, that life has changed. In two months, everything has changed in the world. But money has not stopped flowing. Actually, maybe all the viewers, uh, they, maybe they've heard a lot of people around them that have lost their jobs. And people are at home 
but nobody has stopped shopping. Uh, their amount of money they are spending is still the same. Maybe instead of going to the market for everything, they have started buying online. Instead of uh, you know um, um, doing sports outside, they have they have started some kind of online sports. So the way of people, how they were spending their lives, have changed. In the news, they are getting all the negativity. Yeah. But they are not stopped spending. So actually, for COVID also, COVID brought also a lot of opportunities for new kind of businesses. So first of all, uh, we all pray that the situation will get better. Health is most important. A lot of people are dying. So, yeah. Uh, after that, also, of course, for survival, we have to think about financial stability also. Yes. One thing is for sure, the traditional way of this nine to six jobs, mm. uh, this will change. Mm. There will be a lot of things going online. And for the businesses, only way of survival is digitization. This I learned through my shows and also seeing personally to the people. Those people, but not actually everybody had to adapt. And for some businesses, the businesses went up. For example, the IT company, the companies who are providing internet services, or Netflix, or Amazon, all the people who were doing online, they are, their business is skyrocketed. Mm. Okay. And similarly, for all the universities now, teachers are not prepared, but now they have to do give the lectures online. And actually, mm. online, and now people, some people will start liking it. So even when things will get normal. Many businesses or many universities will maybe part-time basis they will do things online because it's, it brings a lot of ease also in life, flexibility mm-hmm. also in life. Things will change. And in one show, my one of my uh, university teacher now is a professor in Australia. He told me that especially in our cultures, in in Asian cultures, uh, there is a thing about blue collar job, white collar jobs, mm. and that's absolutely rubbish. So anything you can, you Anything you are getting money without cheating, it's yeah. a good job. There is no good job or a bad job. Exactly. Only bad job is if you are stealing or something. And ideally, you should be doing your own business. And successful business is that at, at, you don't have to be a millionaire. You need to bring home that much money that you can live your life, uh, feed your family. And then you can be a successful businessman. And if you start at this point of view, it can grow and multiply also. So I will really tell everyone, don't think about that some job is a shameful job or you know every job is a good job and uh, also try to give respect for people who are doing labor jobs around you we have to change this thinking and also think about some online online business also yes and and that is so right that uh, i almost want to jump in and say that Yes, people are spending money. I launched my courses in the last two months. I made sales with uh, without even expecting people to buy. Like, and if I'm honest, my courses are not cheap. My um, personal coaching time, mentoring time is not cheap. Just because I can't sustain. If I if I do my day job and I have to give out very low rates to uh, people, then I can't sustain and do justice to everyone. But people are opening up their wallets and paying, which is amazing. And I wouldn't have believed had I not seen Mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, um, there is money in all these online businesses. And I think our automatic assumption is that oh if it's an internet business it's probably a scam it's not really um i know that when i was in university and this thing about blue collar jobs that you mentioned this is very prevalent in asian cultures Mm -hmm. and i don't know why it is the way it is uh but it kind of stopped me from going out and doing a mcdonald's shift at um the nearest McDonald's Mm -hmm. when Mm -hmm. I was studying so instead I did a bit of online uh, business on the side and I used to write freelance this was back in the day before all of these internet businesses Mm -hmm. start started booming and there was money there then and I know there's money there now so if you have lost your job um, there is not there is something to worry about in the interim True. how do you uh, kind of stay afloat but actually in the grand scheme of things it might be a blessing in disguise that's what i say that if you have lost yes, your job it course. might be a blessing in disguise so only th- um, very important thing is to remain positive yeah. of course um, you have to be able to sustain yourself but other than that maybe it's a blessing in disguise for me it was a blessing in disguise and other thing is that uh, 
for uh, for be becoming a doctor we go to the universities we pay fees for becoming engineer we pay fees so for learning also and learning something big you have to pay a little bit of amount mm. and uh, it, people should not be afraid to spending something on on the online courses and similarly if people who are who have who have reached some level and they are giving some consultancy uh, people should not think that why is he earning money he is looting it's it's, uh, it's mm. adding value just a simple simple question uh, if somebody is working full time and he is spending some hours so he cannot do that for free because it's not charity actually he is helping you get to to earn money yeah of course a uh, uh, reasonable amount should be charged uh, this amount should be uh, uh, of course i know people who spend several hundreds or even several thousand euros in some courses and now they are earning in six figures so so it's worth it but of course everybody has to do analysis their self analysis also like uh, not spending in something totally you know uh, for example if, if if somebody is it person and he's he's starting doing some dentist courses yeah how to become a doctor for example yeah. you know you have to see in your field you have to you can do the self analysis but i agree with you and yes that's a very interesting thing that you brought up sharik you know um, on udemy there are courses that i find for Ten dollars, twenty dollars, and I'm one of the people who loves buying courses. But you know what? Uh, funny thing is, most people who end up buying the ten dollar courses never end up finishing the courses. True. But if I put in like five hundred dollars, my motivation will always be to finish the course because in my mind, five hundred dollars is worth a lot. So and of course it's one to one consultancy it's is it is tailored to your needs yeah and and also i think we in especially in asian cultures we miss this that money represents value the person who is charging you is not always after the money but at times you need to pay the money to respect the amount of time the person's put in and also the amount of time you need to be putting into the course or the self development aspect of things to actually True. see the shift like if i just write off if i just give it to you for free you probably won't look at it tomorrow or if you if it's, you pay 10 dollars absolutely true you know even if there's a food for free and you sell 500 tickets and 300 exactly. people show up but if the food has a value on it then and yeah. people have paid that then there will be no people uh not coming you know I, yeah. a lot of examples from my volunteer experiences also mm. absolutely right yeah yeah so it's so amongst all of this uh, sharik how did you manage to distribute your time almost uh, into so many things how do you what do you do day to day yes. how do you find time for everything so in the morning normally every morning when i when i wake up you know um, then i quickly see make a small list on my uh, to do list in the in, in my phone i just have a small i make a small list okay this uh, this no, this act non profit club this club this club this work and uh, today these are the things i have to complete and normally actually you, it's not like work you don't have to give 8 hours to everything there are management things there are other volunteers also you need to distribute the task but daily i daily basis i just quickly make a small to do list i manage it but with the daily shows it worked because for two months actually uh, when i was um, not at work i was a consultant at siemens i was sent home but luckily in germany there is such rule that you were getting still uh, sing and sing uh, people without children children were get, getting 60% salary and with children were getting 67% salary so i was getting some money you know so it, survival it was good but other, other than that i could not start work so one option was watching netflix uh, two months mm. or three months or when mm -hmm. till when it happened uh, but i did not do that so i really spent some time and um, uh, these live shows and it really i learned a lot actually i met so many motivating people like you <laughs> and it was a wonderful experience another thing was of course with the live shows it was also that many things i could not do other non profits have but because of covid we could not play for example cricket mm -hmm. uh, we could not uh, arrange the tournaments we could no, not do this cultural gathering so i got some time here also but now when everything is normal my live sh shows frequency has gone down of course i will do maybe one show a week you know but 
but now i have learned a lot so i think personality also my everything the way i thought it changed and it, lesson from us is that from these is that we can always learn from people around us and it's not necessarily be um, in our field experts who are on top many people can learn from their juniors also actually <laughs> for example if you are in a field for 10 20 years the or 20 years what you had studied it's outdated actually yeah but young people who are coming with the new ideas passion and, uh, and uh, new things new technology actually mm. uh, you can learn from anyone and also you should keep learning every day every time open and hum being humble is the key because once you start thinking you know everything then it's your down yeah yeah and it is so important for us to keep learning and also i think for uh, people to actually hold whoever they are learning from accountable to the standards that are you investing in your learning and if people who are teaching courses. So sometimes people ask me, how do I know that this person is for real and not a scam? I generally say that if the person is invested in their own personal development and self-development, you should be learning from that person. Yeah. If, if they are saying they know it all, that's probably a red flag and you should just uh, keep away but you yes. clearly have been learning so much and distributing so much of value so that's such an amazing and inspirational story yes to, to sum it up so my my belief is that uh, when you get some knowledge you, you, you share it to others because if you share it to others maybe somebody's life is changed mm. but some people don't share it because they think when they have the knowledge they can make use of it they can reach or whatever but they will get their share of course but if you help others it will come back to you so uh, my belief is that one uh, so it's also a little bit of a spiritual kind of belief that yeah. if you really help others then it will automatically things will get good for you yeah and it yeah. happened time and again in me in life so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a happy person in this regard yeah definitely help others and when you become others focused somehow the world wants to give you all the energy that it has and that spiritually speaking i know this is true um but actually living life wise i know every time i help others i just get tons of value back without even asking for anything any last thoughts sharik uh, my last thoughts uh, are just to all the viewers uh, that remain positive in life. Ups and downs will come. Life is a test. Value your uh, health. Health is the most important time and uh, most important thing. Value the close people around you, which we often forget, your family members, your relatives. And uh, regarding uh, the work, you need to adapt and keep learning. Uh, keep your eyes open. This is the time uh, that we have a lot of opportunity. Of course, maybe some of you have lost your jobs. Uh, or they think that they might lose a job, but there are a lot of opportunities coming. Please think about online business and you should not leave your job for online business. I mean, like you, even if you have a stable job, think about starting some part-time opportunities yeah. online. Can be anything. Amazon FBA is a good model. Just for example, there can be a lot of things, but think about your specialities and things which you are strong. Mm -hmm. Find a niche areas. Yeah, brilliant. And if people want to get in touch with you, where will they find you? Yes, so uh, my name actually, Sharik Javed, is very unique. Uh, it's not a common name. The first part is a bit of Arabic, second is Persian, but it's a very unique name. Uh, with this name, I have my Facebook page, which I where I regularly update all my activities uh, when I meet some politicians or do some cricket events or cultural events or do live shows. Everything is live there. Uh, in future, I'm trying that everything will be on my YouTube channel also, but almost all the videos are already there. YouTube channel name is also Sharik Chavez and all on the LinkedIn also, uh, I'm with Sharik Chavez. So please connect with me on LinkedIn, like my Facebook page and YouTube channel so you don't miss any videos. Uh, these days, I'm also doing a lot of videos about higher education. Um, so so I, my my mode of instruction or mode of video uh, language of videos it is english and urdu hindi mix some videos are in english but some videos are for motivating our developing countries the, the youth in those countries 
and also for the people you know many poor people uh, many people not get a chance to go to the uh, to schools in our countries and they cannot speak english but i want to motivate them also you know so yeah. that's also my one of the goal to so that's why i divided between english and urdu yeah that's amazing thank you so much and i will link everything down in the description box thank you so much for being with us sharik and it was such a pleasure welcome sudeshna and it was equally a pleasure to see you again and then you know uh, i cannot forget you because more i proceed in career or in life shows i will always remember that first show i did in fourth um uh, fourth april 2020 first week when i lost my job because of i was with sudeshna and it was a success and it where my journey of live show started thank you very much oh wow no that's that's been such a pleasure so yeah thank you and we'll definitely keep in touch bye now yes, sure. bye bye